And let's do one more. Uh, last one. Bought this at Christmas. I actually got it wrong. I bought it. Uh, received the Blu-ray, but didn't see on the way back until... Yeah, until it was a bit late that it was World War C. And I have no intention in the world to buy World War C. I'm not really interested in even watching World War Z. So, uh, I might see it at some point, but I'm not buying it for, to check it out. That's that's for sure. What I really wanted was The Wolverine. Which I did not get a chance to see in the movies. And, of course, this has the extended edition. Uh, I, uh, I I streamed the the theatrical version and I thought that was good I thought it was really it was definitely if not the best if not the best X-Men movies to date it's at least one of them um, Hugh Jackman has never been better in the role it looks great um, he gets to really really be a warrior but of course the thing that irked me was like when you have him going really berserk he's cutting people open and stuff and you don't see any blood that kind of takes me a bit out of it because like that's just weird and he kills people in this he rips people open uh, i'm not rip them open yeah he rips them open he cuts the shit out of them and it doesn't look nearly as brutal as it should that it's some is something that the um the extended edition fixes um it actually adds some uh, cursing, uh, not just the PG-13, like, oh, we can just do one, so now we got maybe two. No, no, uh, it actually ups it through a few scenes. And um, uh, blood on the blades, on the bodies, on people getting cut and stuff is being added. Of course, you can see it's been added, but at least, at least they added it. So it's, you get something. It looks a bit more real, uh, and when you then think how he just cuts or how he fights people, then it's it's pretty brutal. It's how it's probably not perfect Wolverine, but it's pretty. It's as close as we've gotten. Uh, it adds some more scenes. Uh, as I said, it does add more to the end fight which a lot of people think maybe it was a little bit abrupt in the first especially especially when he's making his way through the village that is expanded um and that's basically it there's a good commentary track on there's uh, uh an x-men uh, days of future past uh, to uh, set tour uh and the alternate ending which showed the uh, the costume is on air and uh and stuff like that. There's uh, there's a couple of documentaries about the making and stuff, too. Uh, but I just want to give up props to the movie. Uh, I I'm not a huge fan of the comic that it uh, originated from, but I have read it. I I've, I got it. I own it. And um, and I, I think it followed it pretty pretty well it did some changes the one thing that i didn't like that most people are probably probably agree with is the silver uh, silver samurai thing uh but again it doesn't really take away from a good movie you know and it doesn't do that so i think it was fun it was uh it was good. I love the fact that they let the Japanese be Japanese, that they spoke Japanese, um, and uh, and for Americans and most other people, you're just a foreigner in this movie with Logan, because um, that's how the world works, unfortunately. Um, what else to talk about? There's some good action scenes. There's some good, uh, Fumke Janssen is back, does, she's, she and Gray, she does great, how and why, you'll have to find out, um, all of the Japanese cast, I don't even want to try to pronounce these names, I think, nope, I'll let it go, but, um, they're, they're all really good. Um, so, yeah, actually, I think, I think I can call it, call it a quit. Maybe I can do this quick shots more often. Because there's no real reason to go on about them. 
really. Just just go watch it. Other than that, I'm gonna try to talk about some movies that I don't own, but I've had a chance to see. See if we can maybe do some longer vids on that. So, take a little break, relax a bit, see what the fuck's going on. I thought I was gonna meet a friend, but I haven't heard anything. And yeah, uh, I haven't mentioned this on a lot of videos, but I am a Manchester United fan. Uh, been since 96. Um, and as of right now, we seem to be on the verge of signing Fabio Contrao from uh, from Real Madrid. Unless I do hear some rumors that he is my, uh, may be injured or that Real is not willing to let him go. So hopefully there will be a will be a solution to this. But I really hope this goes through. But yeah, I'll probably do something, smoke something or whatever, and um, yeah, I'll be back with with another one, with another one. Beep beep boop boop. Why are you playing around, eh? I'm gonna really get that. All right, yeah, uh, and I think I'm gonna start the next off with the Conjuring, and. Conjuring and Would You Rather? <laughs>